Hey, want to see how I did this custom LED sign from Font Selection, 3D Modeling on Onshape, Printing, LED and Power Supply Selection? Stick around, I'll show you all of that. Hey everyone, welcome to Made by Jade. Today we are combining 3D printing and a bit of electronics with the LEDs to create a custom name sign with a very cool font. Whether it's for your room, your workspace, as a gift, this project is a fun way to showcase creativity and a bit of tech skill. I've seen a lot of LED signs and kind of wanted to make my own, but none of them quite resonated with me. And it was actually when I was in the middle of another project that I thought of using a font of a guitar or bass amplifier, like this ones. And I went with the Marshall one as it fits better what I wanted to write. Sorry, Boscatana, your font is not as cute. I'll be using Onshape to 3D model and it has all the features that I need and runs on the cloud so I can access it from any device with a web browser or even mobile apps. So no need for high performance hardware. I started using it with my 10 year old MacBook Pro and despite getting a bit slow when the design gets more complex, it was still usable and it's free. To the best of my knowledge, Onshape doesn't support custom fonts in sketches. But that's not a problem, as I only need to write four letters. So I found the font that I wanted, and even in the site I wrote the text I wanted, took a screenshot of the result, so no need to download and install the font, and uploaded the image to one shape. Before inserting the image into the sketch, I just created a rectangle with the maximum dimensions I wanted, and uploaded the image. Then I created a new sketch not to mess with the image, and started tracing out the outline with splines. This part will be the glowing part, and we still need to do a frame for that. And time to extrude some stuff. At this point I wasn't sure how I wanted the LED sign, so I used a rectangle to extrude the very bottom, and then extruded the rest of the height that I needed, and which is about 10 millimeters the cavity for the letters. Here I decided they would look better if the frame also had the shape of the letters. Yeah, I should have done that before. So I just used the same spline method as before, leaving a decent gap to connect all the, all the letters. To be able to pass the LED strip from the J to the other letters, I created a new sketch at the very top surface and drew this shape with some curves to easily pass the LED strip and I extruded it with an offset, so that when fully assembled, that passage would not be seen. And created a hole at the end of the very last letter to be able to pass the wires to power the LEDs. Also added some holes at the back to allow me to have a mount surface. These holes were placed at the middle of the letters to be more secure. The only thing missing now was the covers to diffuse the light, and using the first sketch with the letters drawn using splines, I extruded a very thin parts, and for the covers to snap in, yeah, another extrude, but this as a thin instead of a solid. That created a bit of a problem, as the extrusion goes to one direction, the outer part is fine, but the inner part does not sit flush with the letter. Probably there is a better way to solve this, but as we learn as we go, I just deleted the part that wasn't okay and extruded it again in the opposite direction, deleting the part that was not okay. And to make all the parts into a single piece, I used the boolean tool, selecting all the parts that I needed to add in add mode, and repeated the same process for the second group of letters. And that completed the design part. Let's see if everything prints nicely and the parts fit well. I printed it in black using Bamboo Labs basic PLA filament with a layer height of 0.2 mm and the print took about one hour and a half. And it's finally time to light things up. Quick test to see if the LEDs work. And here I went with FCOB LEDs as they offer a smoother and dot-free lightning to ease on the diffuser. They were slightly more expensive than traditional LED strips, but in my opinion they look much better on their own. 
I got a 5 meter roll a couple weeks ago to improve the lighting conditions of my kitchen. The decision for the 12 volts, well, initially it was because I had a 12 volt power supply saved from a broken LED strip, but also because 12 volts is a low voltage and is safe to handle and installed when compared to higher voltage systems such as 240 volts. It is also widely available and very easy to find components locally. When compared to 5 volt systems, the 12 volt LEDs experience less voltage drop over long runs ensuring consistent brightness across the strip. Before committing to sticking the LED strips to the inside of the 3D print, I basically tried to make the shape of the lettering and secure it with painter's tape so I could confidently <coughs> cut the LED strip and stick it with its back sticking tape. Remember to double check the polarity when soldering and a quick test to make sure everything works and let's assemble the rest. I'm very happy with the result, it's a cute little addition to my home office and it was quite easy to make. Thank you for joining me on this project, I'd love to see your creations, if you decide to do something like this, let me know, and consider subscribing. This is a new channel, I don't have much to offer you at the moment, but I am thinking of some very cool projects and they will appear right on your YouTube feed, so yeah. <laughs> Okay, bye.